three. Oh wow, coil build and chill with dual coil cam. Yeah. I'm actually gonna have that go on my TV just so I can make sure everything's going good. Yeah, yeah. Just um, enter each check, turn the volume down so it doesn't come through. Yeah, I gotta find that fucking remote. But what's up, everybody? Um, Sunday night. Didn't have a show last night, so we're on live now. I got Cameron, um, the Alien Making Fool on YouTube, Dual Coil Cam on Instagram, hanging out with me, with us. I do have chat pulled up now. There are a couple people here already. Sorry, um, everybody. I told everybody I'd be on it like I probably said something like seven or something, but I had to change it to eight with Cameron and then I had to change it to nine today just because um, I uh, got home from work a little late, ate a little late and had to get ready. But yeah, I'll wait for more people to come in before I start saying what's up. I see Justin's here, Kurt Covington. Celine is here, Dustin Singer, Rick McCraw, the Vapor Logs, Jess, what's up, what's up, what's up? Do you work on the weekends, Cameron? I work whenever. I, I Honestly, my days vary. Like, I'm consistently Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Fridays and Sundays off. What do you do again? Grocery store. Yeah. I used to work at a grocery store. I actually liked it when I was when I was uh, younger. I worked at not even too much younger. I worked there for a couple of years. Um, I started out as a cart boy and then I started doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I was in produce and dairy and then uh, security right after um, right after the carts. It was um, it's interesting. It's especially if you do different stuff, you could have time fly. If you have something to do, I feel like time flies. Oh, yeah. hundred percent. I do. I do everything around there. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm dairy, grocery, like, basically there's nothing in that store I don't do. Is it a big, a big store? Like, is it like a chain store or is it like a mom and pop one? It's, it's a chain. Yeah. Yeah. We're under Sobeys. Uh, I don't know if you got Sobeys out there. No, we don't. No. We have... The main ones are called Shoprite, Acme, Thriftway, and then there's there's actually near me since like we got all the yuppies over here, we got lots of mom and pop ones. Oh yeah, there you go. There's nothing wrong with the mom and pop ones. No, nah, nah. they sell like the healthier food, the <laughs> the vegan stuff, and they're usually the way more expensive. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. I switched the uh, Brizzo into stacked form. Um, how is your button on that thing? Nice and responsive. Yeah. yeah. Um, the thing is, is when I first got it, though, is it comes like half turned in. So if it's sometimes it won't fire, like you just have to twist it all the way out and it stops right there. So every time. I um the last um the last like vape event I was at at the local place some girl had one and she was having big problems with it and we all looked at it I couldn't get it to work at all um really? I don't know if she dropped something out of it or something but I couldn't fucking figure it out but um did you have it in stack no no, it was single. 
pick. Because I was going to say, if it was in stack, she might have lost this little disc right here. Like the little plate that keeps it in series. Yeah. But no, she's running a single. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was definitely weird because a couple of us looked at it and we couldn't figure it out. Uh, more people are here. Eric Heyman, uh, Potent Blotter, Chris Payne, Lino Velez, Philip Wheeler. What's up? Sorry, it's a weird time, everybody. I'm sure people will start coming in after a little bit after they notice I'm live. Maybe I should go on Instagram and tell them. I have to clean off my table right now, and then I have a bunch of just orders to fill. I got to look up exactly other ones I have to make. I have to make another one of them hybrid sets. So that's one thing I got to make. And then I got a bunch of uh, other regular coils for aliens, aliens. Yeah, I'm, I'm making some coils to send out to Sam, also known as the Vaping Bogan. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, he's... um. He's a cool dude. I got to meet him in uh, California. Oh, yeah. He, he's a sick guy. Like, if one of these times I want to actually go out to the States to one of the vape events, like one of the main ones, like, because like, in Toronto, like, you don't really see any big brands there. And I'm, like, I'm sure it would still be fun and all that, but, like, I don't know. I'll probably go to, um, CVE, but I want to go out to like the real ones. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a Detroit one, but how far are you from Detroit? Because I know there's a bridge right to Canada. Um, yeah. So and 403 goes straight to Detroit. How long of a drive is that for you? I think it'd be like a few hours. It's not too bad. Yeah, because I'm looking to get my G2 in February, so that'll be kind of perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we should say, I'm, I'm not positive if it's happening. I think it is. I heard one person say that they thought that it wasn't, but um, I'll have to look it up. It's, it's going to be soon that they're selling tickets or telling people. Yeah, for sure. Let's make it out there. Um, what was I going to say? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Somebody asked me, uh, Regis, um, I do sell coils hitting me up on Instagram is the best way to go about that. Yep. And you do have Instagram. So yeah. What's up Lando. Um, and what's up Regis. So yes, you could hit me up on Instagram. My orders right now aren't really too crazy either. So um, I did realize that tomorrow is Martin Luther King Day. So mail isn't going to be able to go out tomorrow. But I'm going to use that to my advantage to get more mail together. So. I did just um, place another wire order. And I am cleaning off my table now, probably in a little bit. I'm going to leave these guys with Cameron to go get a coffee for like five minutes. But that'll be Ooh, demonetization time. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been building for, Cameron? Um, I'm at like a year and a half now. I yeah. started in August of 2017. Um, how, um, how, how much longer after you started vaping were you building? So I started vaping January of 2017. So I'm coming up, I'm, I'm at my two years, but I didn't fully quit smoking then either. And, uh, so like I was using like the smock tanks and all that. And then that's when I came across like Grim Green and all the other reviewers. And I'm just like, oh shit, I want to try a dripper. Like dripping looks fucking cool. Yeah. And like being able to build your own coils and that. And like I was watching Coil Wars and all that too. So I seen you and like Tim and all those other guys. And I was just like, this just looks so fucking cool. Like I got to get in on this. So 
that's when I started, you know, getting my, like getting some wire together. I started off with stainless steel wire from lightning vapes. And, um, yeah, so I just started off with like round wire build and then I tried clapping, twisting, fused clapping. And, you know, it was just so much fun from there. And it wasn't until I got an actual vape setup, like kind of what you see right now that I really got into it. So that was in a round. Um, December of last year, we moved. And that's when I got my table all together and started actually putting effort into it. I started learning aliens, all the staggered. Yeah, that's um, that's what's good about uh, like when I started. And if you YouTube could really get you into it if you're following the right people and to build in, because especially when I started, like there was only a couple reviewers. So if you subscribe to them. Like I was subscribed to um, like Grim Green, Rip Trippers, um, and then what's his name? Uh, the Indoor Smokers. Um, and, you know, there was only three people to follow. So yeah. I would watch every single vaping video that ever came out. And most of Rip Trippers videos would be building. So as he was learning them, I was learning them like a day later. And then uh, finally, I got an Instagram after Twisted Messes did a couple videos. And um, that's how I got into that. But yeah, the, the YouTube has a big effect on, on building because of uh, reviewers say or do like own boy Josh and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. Um... Yeah, no, the funny thing you said about that with indoor smokers is I tried to watch his videos, but because I have that background in, like, editing and video making and all that, I watched his videos, and I just saw so many nitpicks. I'm just like, oh, my God, this guy, when he edits videos, his, his like, when he puts the clips together, they're just so jumpy, and, like, he'll be saying one thing, and then he'll put another clip together, and he'll just, like, it seemed like he was skipping over a whole sentence, so I'm just like, ah, nah, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's a big thing with YouTube. I don't know if you watch any other tutorials or any other YouTube channels, but man, people really cut up their videos. Like you, you could watch some videos. I try not to do it as much unless I really make a big mistake. But um, some people is just, it's like every, I don't even know how they have time to, um, actually they, there's editing programs that just take out like pauses and stuff. But um, even when they make a mistake, it's like, every sentence is a jump like you'll see them say um and then i went to the supermarket and then they'll be over here for a second <laughs> like, so then i started on this review and then they'll be over here and you, you just notice the video is just jumping all over the place and you get so used to watching it though you don't even notice it but um yeah i know what you're saying it's it, it especially back then it was hard to watch because you're so used to watching tv where it's seamless yeah and like that's that's how it kind of it was in my advantage because like i was i was pretty new but a lot of people were coming out like matt cully was coming out and, like his videos are so well put together like suck my mod his videos are so well put together grim green when he actually started getting like a lot a big following his videos are very well put together like just seeing now like the effort people are putting into it, it's actually a good thing. Like I see that being like raising a lot of awareness for it. So people realize like, Oh, maybe this isn't just some. Like, yeah. If it's, if it looks professional, people would take it more seriously. That's true. That's like a lot of the bigger channels you see, like, um, you know, lots of the video game channels are very good. There's, um, if anybody gets caught in these holes where you ever see new rock stars, they talk about like, uh, just, uh, movies coming out, like, uh, Marvel movies, they talk about game of Thrones and they're like, oh, yeah. production value is huge. It's like really good. Oh boy. Josh was getting really good at, at editing and stuff. What's up, Scott black hat white faces here. Yeah. Editing can be a bitch angry aliens here, but, um, yeah, when you take the time, it can be fun when you take the time out to do it and you 
uh, care about what the final thing is going to be. And it's good to, you know, break down time, especially it's something I want to get more into with having such long videos doing live. It'd be nice to just have some shorter ones that were better production. Yeah, like, and that's why, because I was watching Nick, like, Grim Green's vlog the other day where he was, like, going on about, like, what people are asking why he's doing it live now. And people have to realize that when he's putting out two-hour videos, he's editing a shit ton. Like, if his shooting days are Monday and Tuesday, he's got Wednesday and Thursday morning to completely finish editing that video, putting it all together, getting rid of any crappy clips and putting it all together. Like, that takes time. It takes a lot of time. Like, that's why it's when you do small videos, it's good to have them small because more people will watch. But it's also like when you it really goes, if you do a video, if I were to record a video I wanted to do right now, um, if I record it 30 minutes, it's going to take me three times as long to edit it. So a 30 minute video is about, um, you know, it's a two hour project if you just want to get out just that video and then adding stuff in going to grab pictures anything inside of the video it, it takes it takes a little bit longer so doing live is easy because you just do it all in one shot however long live is is how long it took and however many times you fuck up oh well it's out there for people that don't matter you can't go back on it but sometimes the fuck ups are funny yeah see Plus, he, you know, he's hanging with everybody. He's able to answer questions live, and you get more of a sense of, you know, interaction. What kind of person, yeah, what kind of person you're watching. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, big question of the night who all watched The Hateful Eight? <laughs> Not me. I started to watch it, and I just didn't have enough time to finish it. Okay, I, I thought I thought you were going to say you did, but you couldn't get into it. I was just like, that's the thing with The Hateful Eight. There's a lot of story to it, but, like, when it gets going, it goes. Like, that's what I like about some of Tarantino's longer movies. Like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, extra stuff into it, but it's not filler like what he's filming it's all going to come together and it's going to make a story and when it all comes together it's just a masterpiece yeah i enjoy his i could i could sit through his movies there's some that you can't watch like all the time like pulp fiction i could watch that whenever it's on kill oh, Bill, yeah. I could watch whenever it's on i could watch them if they're if I were to just be flipping through the channel, they're all not watch them but stuff like inglorious bastards is a once in a while thing um, same thing with Django is that that's a long one, but, um, yeah, uh, Reservoir Dogs is one of my favorite and that's like, there ain't too much action in that. It's all dialogue. It's all talking and, but it's interesting. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, actually for me though, like I really like watching Django just kind of whenever I like, get, I can't think of a movie to watch. I'm just like, oh, fuck, I'm going to watch Django Unchained because, for me, like all like that cast, that cast as a whole, it just makes the movie amazing. Like I don't know what it is about Tarantino, but there is not been one movie where I'm like, oh, this cast is kind of shit. Like you, you will always at least know three big actors in the movies. Yeah, that one guy's really good too. The in Inglorious Bastards, he's in he's in a lot of the newer Tarantinos. The uh, the inspector Christopher guy, Christopher Waltz. Yeah. Yeah. fucking amazing isn't it yeah he's the good guy in Django yeah it's... oh what happened to Mr. I want to shoot white people for money mm -hmm. I need to find my other vapor so what are you vaping on right now I know you're vaping on the stacked broadside so I got the stacked broadside with goon 1.5 the consequence of door e liquid on the inside. Before I put it into stack mode, I was vaping a where the fuck did I put it? Uh, it's literally right in front of me somewhere. But I was vaping on a recoil rebel with blueberry jam monster on the inside. 
I've got my TS with my Twisted 24 Pro Series with Blueberry something. What color TS is that? The matte blue. Uh, or the, t- the TS is black, yeah. Yes, the TS is black. I thought, yeah, I heard TM. And then finally, I've got my original recipe recoil with Dark Horse. Oh, you're a Dark Horse guy too, huh? I got to get more Dark Horse. I've been vaping this um, this mint chip, and I've been liking mints a lot lately. I was so skeptical when I'm like, ah, should I try Dark Horse? It doesn't seem like it would be like my kind of profile because it's got that mint in it. And when like it was always described as kind of like an after eight or a dinner mint, I'm just like, ah, I don't really like eating those. But I got it and I tried it. I'm just like, holy fuck. Yeah. There, Dawn has a way of doing that with a lot of juices. Lots of people don't like bananas and banana bonds is great. Lots of people don't like mints or menthols. And dark horse is good, and lemons are very hard to do. Just just lemons, and lemon ecstasy is really good. So, I guess Dawn's up for the challenge with juices like that. Like PS Passion, I've got that loaded up in my Faro Mini right now. I was actually vaping that like all week. Uh, PS Passion, and that's uh, that's kind of one of those things. It's it's a weird it's it's weird profile but it's just done so well yeah yeah that's that's been one of my favorites now that and banana bondage um what's up brian feeney what's up kim dixon's here what's up kim and adam a came in what's up what's up what's up so what am I going to do first? I'm going to save the hybrid for a little bit. I'm going to do some easy stuff first and get something done. Um, what the hell do I have to do? I'm going to have to look up what I have to do. Were you building anything yet or, or were you starting to build something? Uh, I was starting on some N90 SSFCs. I got my staggered piece of 28 with 38. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put six ply or eight ply in the middle, but I know it's going to my TM on my TS. So it can, it can be a, on, a little on the lower side. Um, like, so you just ordered all N90, you said recently, right? You just ordered a bunch of different N90s. Yeah. This time around, I'm like, you know what? I've been putting off trying N90 for the longest time. I just want to fucking try it. So I went and I got some 38, some 36, some 28, some 30, and some 40 because I got a I got a 1,000 foot spool for like 20 bucks. Yeah, and it's gonna get used. I gotta order more N90. I still have a lot of it, but um, I did put some 40 in my cart. Um, I never had 40 and 90. I haven't used it just yet, but I'm excited to. So I have, where are these people? Where is that list? I just got a text from my mom asking if she could, if I could swing over to the old house and grab her load of laundry that was in, that was there because we have to do laundry there because our washers fucked. So I'll be back in like four minutes. Okay. I'm just gonna swing over there right quick. I'll I'll be back. Don't talk shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. I'll be right back, everyone. Yeah. I'm looking for a list of coils I have to make. I wrote it down, but it looks like I lost what I wrote down. Um, where the hell did I put that? Ah, uh, you know what? Was it on here? No, it wasn't. There's a couple coil orders I got to get out in the mail. 
I think most of them were built. I think I did do series aliens, I believe. Um, I can always use. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my PayPal and get a list ready. Even though I think I did that already. Because anybody that's ordered coils from me and hasn't got a tracking yet, um, I didn't get to go yet this weekend and I figured I'd go on Monday and then I realized that it's probably not open tomorrow. I'm going to try, but I don't think it's going to be open. Uh, Martin Luther King day is tomorrow. So, Oh, here it is. I got it. Cool. I got the list. So I did. Yeah, I did two of them. So I am selling coils um, and I'm not really too backed up. I have I have a lot of coils to do, but none of them are besides the hybrids are really that hard. Some of them I have to wait to get wire anyway. I actually have to text the person and let them know that. Um, and I know they're going to be OK with it, but. So how's everybody doing? I didn't watch the Hateful Eight yet, if anybody. Is there an echo? Are you just saying that or is there an echo? Because I don't have, let me put my headphones in, it's better sound. It's just when uh, me and Cameron, is it good? How about when Cameron talks, is there an echo? All right. Yeah, Casper, you didn't get no tracking yet. Yours will be coming very soon, though. But, yeah, so I need to look up a couple people and see what I have to do for them. It's crazy how... how many um, messages I get so quickly. Okay, this is one person. No, it's not. He didn't order. Okay, here's one person. Okay, that's easy. So I got to make a couple stainless steel aliens. Um, I got to find... Who is this person? That's that person. I got that done. <clears throat> Who is this? I, they've ordered before. There it is. Okay, so.
All right, I got a couple stainless steel aliens to make, a frame staple alien to make. All right, angry alien, that's cool. Uh, what, I don't know if I said what's up to Casper. What's up, Casper? What's up, anybody that came in I didn't say hi to? I'm trying to keep an eye on the chat. Rodrigo, what's up? Um, let me see if I can get a list. Yeah, I said hi to, hi to everybody on the list. Clayton, I don't think I said hi to. What's up, Clayton? So I did watch um, UFC last night. That's why I didn't really get to watch the hate fight is because I watched UFC. UFC, it was their first night on um, their first night on ESPN. And I had to go and order ESPN Plus, which if you don't know what ESPN Plus is, you must be living under a rock. No, I didn't know what ESPN Plus was last night until I actually ordered it. Um, you're going to try to meet up with prescription coils this week? Awesome. Um, what, do these guys live in the same area? Are you in Florida? Is he in Florida? Is he in Florida? Um, um, what should we call it? He's in Florida. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, ESPN plus is like, it's basically like Netflix or Hulu. You, you get it, you know, online, it's an online streaming service, but I had to get it for my TV cause I, I like to watch it on the big screen. I got a pretty big TV. I don't know how big it is. It's like, I don't know, 52 or something, whatever they are fairly big. I guess most people have big TVs nowadays. So, um, yeah, that's what I did last night. It was good. It was a very good show for the first ESPN. But, yeah, it's a streaming service for like $5 a month. You get the first month free. I also had to get Amazon. I didn't have Amazon, and I'm very strongly thinking about getting Prime. They give you a free month. And I'm thinking about getting Amazon Prime because I could also order wire quickly from there. And since it's Martin Luther King Day, that's why I didn't place my order for lightning vapes is because I'm thinking maybe don't place the order with lightning vapes regular. Um, maybe see if I could order lightning vapes prime i've never done that has anybody ever ordered um wire from amazon prime just to get it quicker because i've i've never have um i've ordered i've um dawn ordered wire in California from Amazon Prime, it came really quick, but it was also a little hard to find. Um, so what company do you buy from, Brian, when you order it? Do you like go to like uh, Lightning Vapes Amazon or something? Don't they have like that? Isn't it like you could go to let me see something. Can you get lightning vapes from Amazon? Because I ain't doing KB wire Amazon. I don't do KB right now, so KB ain't happening. I do not do KB.
just search the wire I want. So let me see. Would I go to Amazon and search the wire? So go to Amazon and then just start searching resistance wire. <laughs> Pure atomist. Temco. You got to do, yeah, I just got to do like this. Let me do um, 36 gauge. Nichrome wire. That's prime 250. That's what I got in which McCall it. And then you would just look for prime. Uh, I feel like I just did like a BE on my old house. Like it was the most sketchy seeming thing ever. Like I just pull into the driveway, open the garage halfway, go underneath, but then come out with laundry. Keep checking. Uh, you're saying eBay, but I mean, will eBay send it that quick? I know how to do this on Prime. <clears throat> it just sucks with the holiday. eBay is slower, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need the Prime membership. I'm thinking about getting it. I mean, the first month's free, and then it's, I don't know how much it is a month, but it's like $100 a year. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I'm gonna make some 27 gauge stainless steel decors at first. Make some aliens. Then I gotta make some N90 aliens. What specs on the N90 aliens? What's that? Uh, what specs on the triple, I mean, on the yeah. N90 aliens? So, and, all right, um, the ones I'm doing aren't gonna be what would I do for dual? Somebody asked for like 0 0.05, 0 0.07 dual. So that would be 2636. That comes in at like 0 0.06, 0 0.07, something like that. But um, the ones I do that I actually vape sometimes is 2736 is like 0 0.09. Just like stainless, really. Yeah. And I was thinking of getting 27, but uh, Coil Society doesn't have odd gauges yet mm. for N90. They just have the even gauges. So I was going to get some 27. I thought those would be rowdy. You could watch movies and shit with Prime. Six stainless steel. 
Yeah, you get a lot of stuff with Prime. Yeah, I guess I might as well just get it. Also, look, those uh, Lindstrom 8142s that Ray's been talking about on his uh, Instagram stories, I looked at them on Amazon. They're 90 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I think he got them for like 70 or something, but yeah, they're expensive. But he has, to be fair, he has had them since Coil Wars, so or a little before, I think. So he's had them for over two years. Damn. And I'm, my my crescents are already getting fucked. Like they're they're not flush anymore. Like the ones just ever so slightly out in front. It's no problem for now, but if they keep on getting worse, I'm gonna get a new set. But I, I had these for I got these for eight bucks. Yeah, Nick, exactly what I was going to say was what Clayton just brought up. The fact that they'll, be, they'll, they'll bill you the $100 annual fee out of the blue. That's what, like, it spooked me the one time because I had accidentally clicked the I want free two-day shipping and I didn't mean to. And it just billed my account like 100 bucks. I'm just like, what the, where'd that come from? So I had to call and get the Prime canceled again because this was when I was hardly working and I couldn't really be affording to have Amazon Prime. But now, I probably could if I wanted to. But like, oh, he muted himself. He probably did hear me, but he. Oh. Yeah, he muted himself because he's doing decors. I should probably do the same. Yeah, Clay, Amazon, they're, they're sneaky. But you know who's even sneakier than Amazon as a whole? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> You're going to have to, I didn't hear you, Cameron. I'm going to put my headphones in so when I'm clapping in, I do hear you. So wait one second. Don't say anything. If if you could hear me, you could talk now. I'll hear you. Yeah? You can hear me? Say something. Something. Motherfucker. Why is this happening? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello, hello. And you hear me right now, right? 
I hear you. And I can't hear you. What in tarnation is going on? So yeah, we were having complications before the live show started. All right, I guess that ain't going to work. So what I had said was exactly what um, Clayton was oh, talking about in the chat. Headphones. There you go. I don't know why all of a sudden it's making me do that, but okay, I see. My check. My yeah. check. I hear you now. Yeah, I don't know why it made me manually change it, but it worked. But wait, now my speed. Oh, that'll work though. All right, just let me know if the sound at all gets weird because I have that microphone on and this headphones on, which is weird. That's weird. It's unorthodox, but. Yeah. Um, basically, what I had said was the same thing that Clayton typed in chat was uh, Amazon. When I finished my three months free trial, it just randomly billed me like a hundred bucks. I was like, whoa, what? I thought this was like 17 a month. Why, why are you billing me the annual? I called and there. Oh, fuck. And uh, they just kind of said, oh, no, it's 17 bucks a month. And I said, well, then why the fuck do you just bill me 100 bucks? Like, oh, that's just an error in our system. We'll get it sorted out for you. And they didn't. So I'm just like, okay, just cancel the Prime. I don't need it. I don't use it, whatever. And then I go and order another thing from Amazon. And I accidentally hit the two-day shipping. And it billed me like, almost two. So I'm just like, okay, what's going on here? I call them again. I'm like, oh, it's because you hit the, you want prime. And I'm just like, well, I don't. Like, okay, well, then it's going to take like four days to ship. I'm just like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know if it's 17 a month, then I would have to probably figure out to do a $100 a year because 17 is a bit much i just set it up for my um i set like anything like that up for my uh paypal card because there's usually always something in there just in case and um it doesn't mess up my bank account basically it only messes up my paypal account and that can overdraft so it won't like if they did it on my bank card it will overdraft but with the uh, PayPal, it won't. But I guess that would suck if just out of nowhere, they took $100 out of my PayPal account. Yeah, no, so you got to just keep a close eye on that because they're sneaky over there. Yeah. They're Jeff, they're Jeff Bezos sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna make enough. I'm gonna make enough decors to do four sets for me of this stainless. So I'm gonna be making another. Well, I'll hear you anyway. And in case anyone's wondering, I am making a set of N95 cores just to say I did them. Might save them. Probably won't unless it's like a single. Because I know how low they're going to own, but I just want to try them. Haven't done a five core in a while. Da -da 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 -da. 
Hey, what's up, Jesse? Sorry to hear you're in the hospital. I hope everything goes good with whatever you're doing, but what's up? Shit, testing off again. Sorry to hear that, Chess. Yeah, it sounds like Chessie gets no breaks. I know, she really doesn't. That sucks. And grab tail, and we take a walk. Bitch. Bitch times two. Fuck, this is soft. Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to do these, no slider, nothing, but it was very wrong. We'll need a slider, so just did a few wraps of some ribbon wire that I had spare that I cut off the end of a spool, or more the beginning of a spool, but yeah, made myself a little slider and lost my decor. Yeah, I um whenever it's more than three cores, I definitely like to use a slider. I usually use a slider anyway, just because I, it it's a safety net kind of since I yeah, stretch exactly. them. Mm. Yeah, especially, especially because I did make more than I'm gonna need. So it's going to be nice to have a little bit of security, do an inch, slide it down, do an inch, slide it down.
Crazy Face McGee, what's up, Drew? That white guy's here. What's up, Roy Murphy? I don't know if I said hi to you. I don't know if I said hi to Addy either. What's up? What is up, everybody? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it is cold as F over here in Philly. It's like, um, I think it's like maybe nine degrees Fahrenheit. So it's pretty fucking cold. I thought you were about to say Celsius. I was, I was going to say that's cold for you guys. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're, we're, you know, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, almost below freezing. So. I think right now we're sitting at about 11 below Celsius. Yeah, we're pretty we're pretty much the same here. Well, I don't know, 11 below. Celsius is like zero is freezing, right? With Celsius. Yeah, zero is freezing point. Okay. And Fahrenheit 32 degrees is our freezing point. So So 32 Fahrenheit is equivalent to zero Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. And they're collapsing. Yeah, for anybody that doesn't know, Casper Coyle started a YouTube channel. He's got a couple videos up there, so definitely go check them out. I haven't got to be on the last couple lives in the chat recently, but... Um, Casper, if you ever wanted to do a live with both of us on there on your channel, I could set that up with my Zoom. So something to think about if you wanted to ever do it. If you want and you want to be the next person that comes on live, um, not next weekend, but the weekend after that, we could do that, too. If you want to come on here with me and be the next person. <sighs> Stretched. That's why. It's, that's why it keeps collapsing on me. If I put too much tension on it, it collapses. So, oh, bitch. I think I'm going to change this single coil out. It's vaping good, but with this um, rebirth, the dual coil is just so much better. But I've been vaping this single coil all day vape from Ray for the past like damn near a week now. And uh, I've been enjoying it. Yeah, the rebirth is like the next one I want to get. The rebirth just. It is pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. And like I said, you can put different builds in there if you just want to build it. When yeah, I have... Oh, sorry. Uh, I was just answering a question for Clay. I am not on a team. I'm not good enough for a team. <laughs> there we go. There's my libido. Yeah. 
Well, Cameron is more, I think it's safe to say this. Cameron's more, he definitely builds more than he takes pictures. He yeah. He always the building part. And there's a lot of people like that. Um, which McCall, it's like that too. Uh, Justin Crabtree likes the building. Taking the pictures, I would say. Because there's been, like, I only just po posted the first time this year, last night, but that wasn't the first time I've built this. I, I think I built when I got home from the New Year's party, yeah. but it was just a like, bill to throw in my twisted messes. So I think I've learned Nichrome 90 is soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a different kind of alien when you do it with Nichrome 90. Yeah. I, it, uh, yeah. Nope, not going. Uh, yeah, I got a single out of it. Ooh. For all of this that I did, I got a single. Oh. I also really want to get that uh that hermetic by uh split. Do you have the ghoul? I do not. The ghoul's better, dude. The ghoul's, the ghoul's like I, I think it's a lot better. Yeah, I. The, the hermetic I don't um, I don't necessarily enjoy the vape that much um, the goal I very much so enjoy the vape it really depends on what kind of person you are if you like one airflow for your coil it's fine but if you don't like that you're not gonna I like two airflows even for single that's why I could deal with this recoil because the air is coming up from both sides still. I can't do the one airflow. It's, it doesn't do it for me. But if you like that, then you would probably like it. But I like the ghoul better. I, I just think it's a better a better vape. That's, that's why I'm skeptical. I was, I've been skeptical about getting a single coil RDA because I don't know how I am if I like having... Like, if I've got a post that's against the deck, if I would still like having airflow coming from both sides, like that drop solo, it's having it come from both sides. I don't know if I'd want the airflow just coming right underneath it. The Blitz School is on sale at the moment, Mick said. What's up, Mick? So. I might check that out then. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure um that they're cheap to begin with so. yeah like i can't really sit here and bitch that like if it's like 50 dollars, i can't sit here and be like oh no that's too much yeah. I, i'm not a high-end vapor per se but I don't have, like, I don't have, I've spent a lot more than just 50 bucks on something, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. To me, there's some RDAs that I'll pay for that. There's some that I won't. Like, I'll pay $60 for an RDA, like a goon or a twisted messes. I wouldn't pay $60 for a, a hermetic or a ghoul. I would expect that to be 30 I don't know why I think like that, but that's just, there's some things that I would pay that money for and some things I wouldn't. Uh, dot mod. I will definitely pay $70 for a dot mod. I actually don't have a dot mod. Yeah. Just cause they're, you could just tell they're well-made. They look great. And that 
thought was put into it. A District 5 layer cake. I would pay the 65 for that. I think it looks worth it. Um, something like, you know, Advkin stuff. Um, they send me stuff, and they got really cool stuff, but none of them, I wouldn't pay anything over 40 bucks for any of that stuff. Yeah, like... I've also really been thinking about getting a Goon 25. I don't know why. But it's just something I really want. I like the Goon 25. I like it a lot. Um, I do. Because doesn't it give you like that original Goon type vape? Yeah, it's just a little. It's just a little bigger, so you, you lose a little bit of flavor, but not. It, it still vapes very good. Um, I I I would be fine with that so what's funny about um i would be fine with an all-day vape with the goon if i only had that as an rda it would be fine with the goon 25 the goon the first goon's my favorite like my favorite rda period uh vape and building but um it's funny that you know lots of us have all these rdas I don't think most of us need as many RDAs though. I, the, my buddy I work with has been vaping the same two RDAs, same two mods for damn near three years now. And he takes care of them, but he's also a contractor and you know, he, uh, he just picked out RDAs. He would know he liked paid good money for them. They're all like higher end kind of things, but. Uh, like Kennedy's, he vapes uh, Kennedy. Um, he has two Kennedys. Yeah, he just vapes. Does he just vape Kennedys? Yeah, he has two Kennedy RDAs, a Kennedy mod and a Rogue mod. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, like, I thought you were gonna say like, like two, like mid to low end type deal yeah. that he's been vaping for three years. I'm just like, wow, that's dedication. So this was the single coil I managed. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's it's a very weird feel though. Yeah. Looked good to me. The five core twenty eight. It feels soft, right? The it's coil still, even yeah like i feel like i could just squish it in my two fingers but i'm not going to yeah. i don't know if i said hi to lino and i definitely didn't say hi to austin what's up what's up guys all right let's do some mailing I still remember how I first got that name, the alien making fool. Black Cat Whiteface gave it to me because the one night um, I was talking about how I did a six core interlock and he's like, oh, you should try a six core 32 wrapped in 32. And I for sure thought he was fucking with me, but I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll try it anyways. And I got him done. I had him posted. And it, like Scott just starts calling me an alien making fool. I'm just like, okay, fuck, I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> hey, I want my own show, but I'm not that interactive. Yeah, so. it's hard, it's hard to always. Like, it's easy to build in front of a camera and um, just talk to people in chat. But sometimes you got to do a little more than that and have some kind of content, too, which anybody could do. But it's something you got to really think about and, you know, um, commit a little bit. But yeah. 
I think it would be cool for more people just to go live once in a while and build. I mean, why not? It wouldn't be a great everyday thing, but it would be cool once in a while to just go on your YouTube and go live and hang out with people. Yeah, exactly. Like Scott, he does it for an hour a day, every day. And I'm, I'm, reprim I'm, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, I'm just going to say I'm giving kudos to him because he has come a long way. He's got a lot more better in front of the camera. Me, I probably won't get that good in front of the camera. I'm more a behind the camera kind of man. Oh, bitch. Okay. Stop. Stop it. Please stop. Sometimes all I gotta do is say please to wire and it'll stop unspooling on you. Well, I just made five sliders, whatever. Or more. Definitely more. No, Clay, own boy Josh's was the aeronaut. Come on. If, if he still did YouTube, he'd be very disappointed at that comment. The cosmonaut. Actually, no. I could. I could see. I could see the confusion now. They both have the not, but no. It was the aeronaut. Yeah, the aeronaut. I could pull that out in a second and show you that. Um, you know, I won one from Coil Wars. You know what I have to do? I speaking of cosmonaut and aeronaut, I have to put a build in the District Five and start vaping that thing. I could take out Addo's coils because I finished coloring them and taking pictures. But um, you can't buy the Ramo clamps anymore. I'm hoping that he's doing a version two. The idea was he starts selling them again when he makes the version two. There was a couple upgrades he wanted to make to it um, to make it better. So well, thank God I got one when I did. I use my Ramo clamp like a. Son of a bitch. I just use it whenever I've got something that's more than two pieces of wire. Oh, this is far too much ribbon. The amount of wire I've staggered. Justin, I'm fairly sure Ray did a KTX and then the KTX 1.5. So you're saying like you should do a KTX V2? Just call it a K2X. Ooh. There you go. I just gave him an idea.
my brain that boom. Oh, this one, I can't put them up. So I am really thinking about getting a, um, what you call it soon, a uh, a lathe to do my decors, basically only for decors and micro Clapton's. Wait, a what? A uh, wood lathe, a lathe to do decors and and micro Clapton's something really fast that turns basically. You know what? Oh, yeah, like the has? Yeah. Um, Lino has one. Yeah, I feel like that, that'd be good. That'd be something good to have on hand. Yeah. All right. I'll wrap these up in a second. I got two more sets to make of aliens. Stainless steel, and then I'll make N91s, and then I have to make a frame staple. And then we'll see what time it is. Um, there's a couple other things I'll have to make. I have to make another set of them hybrids. I actually have to make two sets of them hybrids, two more sets. So... I guess we'll see the time in a bit. Let me see this. Yeah, I want to know how quickly I can fuse up this SSFD. <clears throat> it's not a lot better at them. Because, like, for the longest time, they were one of those builds I could not do. An old sewing machine instead of a coil drill. Huh? I mean, I can only guess what happened to own boy Josh. Um, there's a couple things that I've heard. I can only guess. We can only speculate at this time. Yeah. My guesses are a couple things. Um, got very busy, I think, is what happened. Um, Josh got very good at what he did. I think he got opportunities to do stuff for better money. And as much as he would probably like to do the things for money and a YouTube channel. I don't think it's easy to do all that. Um, I think it's between that. Um, I've heard that maybe it was other personalities that made him feel a certain way about the vaping, um, the vaping, uh, YouTube world. I've heard something like that, but I think for the most part that he just got busy with other stuff and YouTube doesn't pay enough. It doesn't. Um, even when you get pretty big, it's still very hard to make a living and do your job at the same time. Um, 
I also heard that, you know, it, sometimes people just get bored. They just get bored of doing it. I heard that, or this is actually straight from his video, I believe. He just got bored of this, like even just seeing the same background in his videos, just everything, just everything, it, it could take a toll on you. And, um, you know, I think it's more just he got better opportunities to make money doing stuff that he likes to do. Sometimes people, you know, do, he was getting very good at his videos. His production value was getting very good. He was putting together very good videos. And sometimes people are like, hey, we kind of been looking for a video maker or a content maker. And I know he's real into art and taking pictures. And I think that maybe that took over. I think it's safe to say he had more than one hobby and maybe one he liked a little bit more. Yeah, because we right. all seen his his photography side. And like, he was Thank God. Thank God I'm wearing pants. I just burned my junk with hot glue. <sighs> but, uh, like, his photo the photography side of what he did was just amazing. And, like, I feel like that's what he got opportunities in doing was more photography. Yeah. But, as you said, all we can do at this point is speculate. Or maybe he just did what a lot of people at this point in time have done. Like maybe he got to a point where he didn't need vaping anymore. Like he quit smoking. Maybe. These are all speculations. And it sucks because there was a time he started to come back. And I think what would have been cool is a video uh, and divine and unbelievable Josh video probably definitely would have been possible. And it would have been cool. but now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. That would have been, as one would say, sick as tits. Let's see how this goes.
this is going surprisingly easy. Surprisingly well, I should say. Now that I said that, I'm going to fuck it up. Four sets of stainless steel aliens ready to go. And then I'll do the N90s. Um, actually, I'll give you the specs for the N90s because they're actually the single coil I've been vaping, but the person wants it for dual, which is super low, but if that's what they ask for that's what they shall get ask and you shall receive yeah i don't push low builds on people but i do ask them the ohms and if they say something low i make sure that's what they mean and that's what they get um yeah i mean unless they want triple 26 aliens that are n90 that do ohm out at 0.5 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Million wraps around a 17 millimeter bit. Oh, Mick, you're in West Australia. Yeah, it's pretty bad over there for vaping. Yeah, Chevy, man, you're going out soon, too. There's just, uh, my list, is, my list is going down, but there's still a lot of people, but you're, you're definitely close. You're close to the top. Of the list. I got that RDA. I'm going to throw in there for you. I don't need really Three millimeter bit. Let's do a different view while I'm wrapping. I don't usually do this very often.
so Nick, yeah. when, you, when you control your drill, do you trigger with your left hand and hold the spool with your right, or do you hold or do you trigger with the right and hold the spool with your left? I use the drill with my right and control with my left, and I am right-handed, but yeah, I so I kind of build backwards. Okay, because yeah, I was I was gonna ask that next, like, what's your dominant hand, but right hand? Yeah. Like, do you find that easier, or like? Yeah, it's it's just naturally how I set it up. So I didn't even think about it when I started doing it. That's just naturally how I set up the drill. I with no thought at all. And when I set up a swivel, it wasn't even something that I thought about. It's just how I set it up. So obviously that's, <laughs> that's most comfortable for me because that's what I went to without even thinking about it. But when yeah, somebody I mean, said that, I was like, wow, I never even thought of that, that I'm, building with my left hand really yeah because for me i get the most control with my right granted i i figured out another way i'm really backwards from you because you prefer the smaller spools whereas i prefer bigger yeah yeah for like wrap wire i prefer the bigger spools because i can get more of a grip on them huh. how tall are you I'm six three. Oh, that that's probably a big fucking reason why. <laughs> yeah. Hi, how tall are you? I'm like five ten. Oh. So, because I made a joke in the chat saying, "Oh, I prefer big spools because I got big hands, and Nick likes the smaller spool because he's got small hands." Yeah. I said that a joke, not thinking you actually had, you know. Yeah, you. I mean, I think that's absolutely a thing. Um. When did I I see? Oh yeah, because um, mine forge looks like a tall guy, and he likes big spools too, and um, that's automatically what I thought is probably just more comfortable because they have taller hands. Yeah, but a lot of people actually say I've got small hands for my height. Same with feet. I've got small feet. Yeah. Who knows? It's just a theory of mine, but I'd imagine that a six foot three person, if they put their hands up to mine, that their hands would be taller. Yeah. I mean, everybody's different. There's people that it probably doesn't work like that, but. This alien. Oh, yeah, I know. So. It, it's weird, though, because, like, you look at me, I'm a, I'm a taller guy, and people are like, oh, damn, what's your shoe size? And it's like 11. And people are like, how the, like, I don't know. My body's very unproportioned. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like nine and a half, ten, it depends. But yeah, so I guess I, I see what you're saying. My boss is like, um, I know he takes like a 13, but he's only like six foot. Everybody's everybody's different. Yeah, my uncle is he's six three as well, but he wears a size fifteen. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's just what my family brings to the table. Very unproportioned bodies. <laughs> I don't hear no music. I also don't hear music. So, that one alien I did was pretty messed up. I'm probably going to vape that myself. It just wasn't... Aliens have an indent in them, and you could wrap them upside down. I like wrapping them with the indent pointing up. So when I wrap them with the indent pointing up and one wrap comes out that it's not pointing up, it looks shitty to me. So I don't 
put them in my selling pile. Yeah, I feel that. Like, I was, like, for the longest time, I was trying to make just a really showable set of series coils. And they they just looked weird. I'm just like, nope, not posting these, not posting these. Going to vape these. I'm not going to post these. Yeah. I'll show you what I mean. See, in the middle of the alien wire, there's an indent. All right. Now, this is a good one, but watch when I pick up the other one. They all have that little line kind of going up the middle. They all have an indent in the middle here, right there. But this one, when I wrapped it, the fifth wrap came around. And it's more rounded. Oh, yeah, there it is. Not that... Um, not that side, this side. So that one's different. It's it's hard to see on the camera. In real life, it looks way worse. It's kind of nitpicky, but not really. It's not nitpicky because when you're selling clothes, you want them to look yeah. like almost perfect, if not perfect. Yeah. It's not nitpicky at all because I feel that 110%. It's almost like uh, cooking, like you eat with your eyes first. You vape with your eyes first. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I'll vape this and just pick out whatever one. So usually what I do is if I have that happen, if I build four sets, then I'll go in and I'll see if any other ones have any imperfections. If they don't, then I'll pick out the one with the shortest leads or like, or if the leads look, so this one right here is sticking out to me. The rest look really good. This one is kind of sticking out to me. Maybe I wrapped it a little differently. Maybe the lead looks like this. It's a little bit, yeah. whatever. So I'll just take that and that's my vaping set. And this is my, which I'm call it set. So we have a set now to put into the layer cake, which I'll do in a little bit. I really should make some of these N90 aliens so my orders are done. So that's what we'll do. N90 aliens, I only have to do like, I think I have to do two sets. And then after I do that, two sets, we'll install these in the layer cake, and then I'll get on to uh, see what time it is and maybe start one of them hybrids. Yeah, after, after I'm done this set of SSSDs, I'll, I'll probably uh, make a set of Fralians or something. Oh, yeah, I got to do the frame staples after the layer cake. That's right. Didn't you do the frame staples before the layer cake? Nah, the frame staples are for a sale. So I'll do the frame staples after the layer cake. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I need 26 gauge for the decor because I'm doing some super low. Some super low, Cameron probably wouldn't even vape them on a triple parallel. <laughs> yeah. 2636 Alien Nichrome 90. That is going to be low, but that's what was asked for. It'll still it'll still fire quickly. I mean, it's N90. It'll be fine. But it's going to be like a 0 .06, 0 .07 maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was gonna say like I never noticed how much of a difference it would be between N90 to like stainless steel or N80 even, but these coils are triple thirty gauge N90, and I'm gonna show you how they fire on a single AT650 because it blew me away. They're triple thirty gauge. Yeah, triple thirty with a thirty eight. Wow. 
They just sound mean too. Yeah. Granted, I I only did uh I uh I did five wraps on a three mil. Normally, I'm doing seven wraps on a two point five for a thirty gauge. Uh, no, I, I tried five wraps on a three mil because my neighbor he he works in like taping and mudding. I I used to do it with him like here and there. But he always comes to me for coils, and he wants something that like just ramps up immediately because he's running up pulse eighty watt with a pulse twenty four, and he wants a dual coil that ramps up right away, not at eighty watt. So the last thing I made for him was a third, a triple thirty two with a forty, and he's been loving those. Yeah, because they give him his very quick ramp. At like 60 watts. Yeah, he, he doesn't like the more intricate coils because they don't give him that quick ramp at like 70 watts. So I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll make you like fuse clap and whatnot. You yeah, just it's hard at 80 watts. It's hard at 80 watts to build something intricate that vapes uh, quickly. In a dual, in a single, I can make, I like, what I did for him one time was actually a triple 28 six wrap around a four uh, for a single coil. And he loved that, but he didn't love it too much because it wasn't as hot. So there's got to be that happy medium. Yeah, I'll say, okay, performance out the wazoo. Those are cutters. One coil, I think. Yeah, definitely one coil.
What's up, Freddy? Cameron does look like we could be brothers. My, um, he's got dark hair and stuff. He's got kind of, it seems like he's got kind of the same complexion, kind of olive complexion. <laughs> I'm pretty tan for a white person. debating between should I do these four wrap on a 3.5 or five wrap on a three. It's 28, eight ply. With a I'm going to make a couple more decors just in case because I know how N90 could be. I can mess up out of nowhere with this stuff. So I'll make extra. I need two sets. Um, once I get my two sets, I'm done with these for now. Once again, these are the ones that um, Freddie actually, clean as fuck coils, told me about the 2636N90, but somebody wants the duel. I wrap on a three. Yeah. That's probably what I'll do. They're N90 and I'm gonna be putting them in. Uh just nothing. I like the belt I have in there. Yeah, I know this is going into a messy. Oops. Tony Berry, what's up? Uh, Jerry Law, what's up? Did you try them single coils yet, Jerry? And I still can't hear Cameron on these damn headphones. Really? Fucker.
They yeah. were working just fine for you. Well, I'm actually making them right now, Jerry. That's why I was asking. Doesn't really matter if you tried them or not. I know you like your single coils. I said, hi, Kim Dixon. If you didn't hear me, that means you weren't paying attention. I thought you said that earlier. And if you don't believe me, you need to go back in the video later when you came in 10 minutes late. Ooh. But no, she did definitely say hi, Nick and Cam. All right, cut these in half, going to set each one. Mr. Burgundy. Um, is where the art is, is here. What's up? I don't think I said hi to Chevy Man, though. Even though I talked to him, I don't think I said hi to Chevy Man. What's up, Chevy Man? I think I said hi to so far everybody. I'm trying. I'm really trying. Graham Digital Drops, I didn't say hi to. What's up, Graham? Tyler Oaks, I didn't say hi to. What's up, Tyler? I said hi to Freddie. Brad Collins, I didn't say hi to either. I think I said hi to Roy Murphy. What's up, Roy? Either way. Rick Coon, what's up? <laughs> oh, Clyde Flies, uh, what's up? I didn't say hi to everybody then. There's a bunch of people I didn't say hi to. What is up, everybody now? What? Fox mods, what's up? Fox. Why is it? Hey, uh, so I did some I did this going really well so far. I'm doing some N90s now. After that, we're gonna put some stainless steel aliens. Oh, where did I put them? I'm such an idiot. I just moved them. Bitch. We're going to put some stainless steel aliens in Z layer cake after. There they are. All right. There's the stainless steel aliens for the layer cake. Here's the layer cake. Top of there. We'll put them there. And I got to build frame staples after that. And 90 lights quicker. It's a little hotter. It's uh, lower in ohms. N90 and stainless steel are kind of the same. N90 lights very quick. It lights a little quicker than stainless, but stainless has um, better flavor in my opinion. But yeah, it's a quicker ramp up, lower ohms. It's a softer wire, less resistance. This is a N90 single coil, but this battery is kind of dead. Yeah, this battery's got to be pretty dead right now. But this is an N90 single coil. Yeah, it's pretty 
dead battery, but still. I haven't tried the layer cake yet. I haven't put a build in it. I haven't vaped it. That's the whole point of me putting the uh, build in there. I'm going to be doing a review on it this week. So. Dude, nah, braiding with N90 is bad. No. No, I wouldn't suggest it. So 26 gauge aliens, all N90. I just got to get out three pieces at about 19 inches so I can get two sets. That's usually what I do, 19 inch to get two eight inch pieces at the end. And I'm starting to lose shit. Starting to lose it. I have two pairs of needle noses that I lose all the time. They're both right on the floor. I'll keep two of everything just in case I do stuff like that. If I lose one, I have another one. And then I'll lose both of them and I have to find them. They're usually not too far. I usually don't even have to get up to find them. As a wise man once said, fucking way she goes, I guess. Yeah, people have allergies to nichrome, raccoon. Yes, people have allergies to nichrome. Stainless steel is a good choice instead, or canthal. Stainless steel is a better option. Canthal is not. My favorite stainless steel. I like stainless steel the most. Um, I think... Cameron is uh, more of a Nichrome guy, Nichrome 90, Nichrome 80. It's all, you know, you can't say one's better than the other. It kind of just depends what you look for. Um, some people taste certain metals more than they taste others. I really taste Canthal in builds. Um, and ever since I started vaping stainless, I could taste N80. N90, I'm pretty good with. Uh, I like N90. But everybody's different. Nothing's right or wrong. Actually, I've been getting really into stainless steel. Like, I do quite enjoy some stainless steel for aliens, stainless steel aliens. I think the problem with before was, like, it's very easy to burn if you like dry fire it at high wattages. It's so easy to burn. You can't and hear it... Cameron again. What the fuck is going on? He's probably been talking this whole time, and I'm just ignoring the shit out of him. Why is this happening to me? There you go. I hear you now. You hear me now? Yeah. I was just saying I've been uh I've been really enjoying stainless steel lately. Yeah. Because before when I first started using stainless steel, I'd I'd burn it. So I'd get a burnt taste. Okay, yes. That's something a lot of people don't know. Stainless steel, you got to be very careful not to overheat it when you're doing your coils. If you're pulsing your coils, you want to pulse it at a low wattage. And you don't want them to come out of that kind of blue color, really. If it does, it's okay. You don't want to go too much further than that. When they start turning white and yellow, you kind of lose some of their crispness. It just, it's, it's weird how they work. Um, 
if you don't care about spacing, stainless is the best thing to do, really. If you space it, you're going to get the best results. You won't have to burn it to get the hot um, spots out. If you ever watched um, DJ LSB Vapes, he has space coils without even pulsing them and just wick them up. The first time he used my coils in a video, he didn't even heat them up at all. He spaced them, wicked them, and vaped them. Um, it surprised the hell out of me. I didn't even know you could do that, but you can. But no, I'm the same way as you is I taste cancel. And it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah. It, it's like for me, it like Canthal is one of those things. Like I've literally watched as I'm decoring off a piece of Canthal, like the outer bit starts coming off and then you just can't twist it at all or it'll snap. Like if you're straightening it with the drill, like you'll see it start burning off. No good. Boom, boom. Uh, 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 hey. So when I'm doing this Nitro 90, I like to put water on my fingers so it slides through easily since it's so soft. Yeah, I guess that's something I should have done. I didn't, I, I was going with dry hands. Yeah. So that was also a reason my quarry were probably collapsing. changed oh oh hey. Started off a little bumpy, but I pulled it together. I might I have to measure. I might take off the first one. Oh, I pretty much got two coils there though. Yeah, I might take off the first. We'll see how good these next ones go.
Please give me a two coil. This is my, this is my three. This is my three. Gonna be close. Wow. I didn't, did I? No, I didn't. Seems like the further I hold the N90 away from the wire, the better. Yeah, that second one would be better. I don't think I would have enough to get two five wraps, but I did. So you did eight ply, right? I did eight ply. Yeah, they're nice. Seems like it didn't take you too long to fuse either, so your spacing must have been pretty good. Yeah, the good old fuse half and then force fuse the rest and then take off the first one. Works quite well, if you say so. Uh, what do I want to do now? Yeah, if you don't mind wasting the wire, that's the way I like to do it a lot. I really don't. I've, I've got a surplus amount of like 36 stainless steel. So like I used that to do the first fuse and then I force fused with, oh wait, no, I used 38, but I have a surplus of that in stainless steel too. So I got two 1,000 foot spools. So I did the first half in stainless steel then i went in it with n90 and then fused it in n90 Ooh. i don't remember when the last time i changed these batteries was oh maybe take that Thank you, Kim. Yeah. 
Oh, I just realized I used. My bad, I was muted. Thank you. Um, so I said I'm done these N90s. I'm wrapping them up. Then we'll get to the District 5. I'm going to install them stainless steel coils, wick it, and wape it. funny i was saying yesterday right after i had, i was running these on a single 18650 the 30 gauge aliens i'm like i've never seen a set of 30 gauge aliens so rowdy and then i remembered there's 30 gauge aliens in here too so yeah Very nice, very nice aliens. One set I, I have to redo. I still don't like how they came out, so I'm gonna do that later. Yeah. Though I got them. The indent on the out. Yeah, that and the the first set I just wasn't. I I think I overstretched it and it seemed a little loose. So. I mean, I suppose, yeah, I'll do them later. Where is my dots? So if anyone has ever wondered what my table looks like, I, I bet none of you have really wondered. But here, I'll, I'll show you what my setup is like. Figure out how to break. Uh, like that. So, my thing, oh, my phone's upside down, that's why. So, over here, I got my battery chargers. Got a cup with wires, juices that I haven't yet gotten to, laptop, live chat. My lighting, picture of me and my mom from when I was like one. Then all my spools of wire over here just kind of scattered around. And TV. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I work with what I got. Yeah. It's what my, it's what my boss would call a space allocation engineering. <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. Get getting the most out of what you have. Hmm. 
you need a bag for this. Do this. We're using cotton thread bags for decor bags. What's up, Sin In? All right, Marilyn, what's up? Let me change the camera around. Also need a vial for my Addo coils. So I'll grab What's up, Marilyn? What's up, that white guy? Me looking at chat. If there's one really good thing about working in a grocery store, it's uh, when the reps come in, like our vendors, and they've got a new product and they'd let us try it before we put it on the shelves. So what I got to try was new, Flamin' Hot Nacho Doritos. What? I love oh, yeah. it. Flamin' Hot Nacho flavored. Got six bags of it. A little excessive, yes, but. So they have, I guess they have spicy hot, huh? They, um, because they definitely have spicy Doritos. That's a different bag than. Yeah, there's the jalapeno cheddar. Yeah. And then there was also the roulette Doritos. That was like nacho cheese. And then that one chip that was just ridiculously, to most people, ridiculously spicy. Yeah. Like, not to say it was spicy to me, but it didn't have flavor. Like, the Flamin' Hot Doritos, they've got flavor. So these are Addo's coils that he put in here when he sent this. Um, I got to do, um, I have a nice set of coils from other builders I got to put in. But these colored up really nice. Pitchfork parabolic. But I would never vape them. If what would you say is the difference between how a parabolic and a corrugated, like a regular corrugated vapes? I don't know if I ever vaped the parabolic. Corrugated, it's all right. I never vaped the parabolic, though. I don't think I have. Really? Yeah. I'll have to try it. I'll have to build something like this and vape it. But, yeah, those will go in there. And I will forever keep them... 
you can you can always do what you did that one time you were on a uh, Sherlock Holmes channel, the uh, parabolic SSFC. Yeah, yeah. I still remember being on a uh, Sherlock's channel, and you did that. And he was almost struggling with it, and you were just breezing through it. Yeah, that was the first time we both did it. Um, that's uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass build. Yeah, I can imagine. Especially for the first time doing it live. I'm sure he wasn't happy with that. <laughs> I did that in the Enigmas the first time. I asked him the first show. I was like, what do you want to build? I was like, do you? He's like, I don't care. I was like, do you want to go simple or hard? He's like, I'd like to learn how to do Enigmas if you could fucking teach me how to do that. I was like, it's a bitch, dude. He's like, it's all right. I was like, all right. Hopefully I'll be able to do them. <laughs> Yeah, and then I remember like a week later, he put his Enigma tutorial out. Yeah, yeah. He's another one who like his his production is actually really, really good. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does do very good. I got to meet him and Cali as well. Um, he, uh, yes, he, he does have very good production. He always was very good at, he's got a really nice like camera for doing videos. I got to, uh, that's what he was doing all in Cali, he was doing the uh, videos and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I wish we got more, uh, like, build tutorials from him as well. Like, that's what he started out doing. Mm-hmm. And then he just kind of stopped. Yeah. But, like kind of like the same thing that we speculated with homeboy josh he got that opportunity with hometown hero and then yeah he started getting a lot more products for review yeah that's kind of the same exact situation that i think happened when homeboy josh is you know sherlock Holmes ended up moving to texas with hometown hero yeah exactly I mean, that could happen with just about anyone. Yeah. Hell, before you know it, you're, you're probably going to be putting out an RDA. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll probably be going in on one with uh, Big D and Ramo. Instead of the Golem, you're, you're going to be putting out what would be a bigger golem because a golem is already quite large. Yeah, I don't know if um, I think Ray was working on something else. I'm not sure. Let's be honest, Ray's always working on something. Yeah, yeah. For the most part, he is. He's usually um, he's been behind a lot of RDAs that people don't even know that he has had a say in also he has had a lot of input on stuff all right yeah. so this is a lot like the dot mod 24 only there's no spring oh have you seen what's on the bottom of this on underneath the ceramic plate Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, I just realized uh, what you're saying. Made so, you look. Yeah. If you do this, which is pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, we can, we can all silently laugh at the fact that, you know, District 5 put that on the bottom there, but... I don't know. A lot of reviewers, if they've seen that, they'd just be like, okay, why? Yeah. I, I think that, I think it's actually pretty hilarious. It is. It absolutely is. It's pretty clever. Yeah. I feel like that was directed at 
the reviewers who are like, oh, now let's take apart this deck. Yeah. Uh, made you look. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself while I uh, de- make a decor for these Fralians. All right. So at first I thought maybe the spring, not having a spring was a bad idea, but actually if there was a spring, it wouldn't be able to hold the build in like it's doing right now. Like I could flip upside down and nothing happens to the coils because there's no spring pushing the thing up and I haven't tightened it down yet. So I could kind of adjust these coils. Now, I need, is this charged even a little? Only a little. appreciate it. This thing would focus a little better. Device locked. I don't even know how to lock this device. I know how to do this and lock it. Device locked. What the hell does that mean? Oh shit, this thing has bypass mode. What, the V200? Yeah. I feel like bypass mode's something a lot of mods are coming out with nowadays. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, kind of like a regulated series.
Yeah, I don't even look. I just start like vaping it and that's it. I don't even look at what the things do. I just go, all right. 120 watts it is. <laughs> so it's reading this it's reading this point oh eight. Okay, cool. Yeah. So if they're this color with stainless steel coils and there's no hot spots, you want to keep it at that. So I keep it at low wattage. I have it at like 26 watts. And if I could... get them to the point that they stay blue. I never realized, but N90 is kind of a bitch to color. Yeah. Because, like, I started I started it off at, like, 15 watts, and before I knew it, they were already blue, and I'm just like, oh, okay. All right, see how the white's starting to come out of this blue? But I could see that there's no hot spots. It's glowing even. I'm going to look at it close up without the camera. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. You don't want to go much further than that with the color or with the uh, heat. Or it's going to burn too much. So I usually have them like this. They get a real funky color after that. They kind of go kind of yellowish. Then the flavor isn't as crisp. Yeah. The ohms on this is zero 09. These are my stainless steel aliens. They jump up to like a 0 0.12, but they are zero 09 after they cool down. They go to 0 0.11, 0 0.12, but zero 09 is the very lowest they go. What did you use for cores again? 27. 27? Okay. 27, 36. I'd mark them at zero 09 just because that's the lowest they go to. Or usually like point point zero nine point one something like that. Yeah, I made a set of those for Bogan. They're my favorite. I, I tried to keep all the coils I sent him above a point one. Yeah. So I, I know he runs a lot of mechanicals. Like he'll vape them low, but I know like a lot of his his audience they they want to use the bonds and mech kit, and if they see like oh he's vaping a O9, they're gonna want to do that too, even though he pushes battery safety. But some people don't listen to that. Yeah. So planning ahead. Yeah, let me get, all right, I'm going to get some cotton threads out. 
You could get these on a door e-liquid. I love them, especially for live. I don't have to fidget around with um, with any kind of cotton. Just pull two of them out or four of them and put two back. Have you tried getting like a dual coil out of one wick? I've tried it. I don't even do that anymore. <laughs> I get them at a pretty good price, if not free from Dawn. So I'm pretty good right now. <laughs> I don't really. I probably could in this RDA though. Because it's such a short RDA. I probably definitely could. I, is there a shallow deck or like a shallow well? Yeah, so I probably could with this. So what I'll do is I'll cut the plastic off of this side and I'll see if I could do it. Yeah, you could probably do it with the layer cake. Boom, roasted. There you go. And yeah, layer cake gets a go. a little longer than the other. I probably could have left a little on the first one. All right. Where's my where's my pointies? my pointy toy. There it is. Excuse me. Yeah, I had completely... I had completely different intentions as to what I was going to build tonight. I was going to really try and push myself, do like a pair of fused, like triple super stag. <laughs> and then I'm just like, yeah, no, not happening. Not today. Yeah, I'm ordering um, some high gauges so I could do different power fusing because that one was just too big. It was a pain in the ass, and higher gauge would actually be a little easier. Lots of people might think two pieces of 42 fusing with it would be hard, but when you hold two pieces of 42, it's like holding one piece of 36. It's actually easy. Yeah, like two pieces of 34. Like two pieces of forty is perfectly a thirty-four. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to do, but it was just not happening. All right, I think I'm going to do some pecan sequence on this one. Some for consequence. Yeah. Some good old pecan sequence. Pecan, pecan. Pecan. Imagine there's those people who like actually pronounce the consequence pecan sequence. 
<laughs> I won't lie. I was one of those people. Before I understood how it was actually supposed to be said, I'm like, he can't sequence. Hmm, that sounds quite good. And then I heard everyone on that live show say it. I'm just like, oh, that makes sense. Like, consequence. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's crafty. That Dawn Fury is crafty. And that's how I fuse praline. <laughs> All right. Now, the cap to the District 5 is so nice. This is a different um, drip tip that Addo sent. This is one of their drip tips that comes separately, but it's amazing. Um, there are different rings it comes with. So if I wanted to rock it on this gold mod, there is a gold ring. But this gold mod is actually pretty much out of battery. So I am probably going to put this on something different. Um, I guess the big question with this thing is how hot does it get? I think that's the main thing. Huh? When you get a minute, Nick, send pics of the moon. Yeah, I shouldn't have fused these frailings that quickly. Ah, rolled a piece. Oh, bitch. All right, I think I already noticed something that I have to do with these coils. I should have tried to show off. I already know something. All right. These coils have to be raised up a bit. I could see it in the in there that the air is a little above the coil. I see the top of the coil when I look inside. It's going to be hard for you to see it, but I see it. So I need to raise them up a little bit, which you could do while they're still wicked. Just put something in there. And that guy, I just put my... Back of my needle nose is in there and carefully lift it up. All right. Ah, well, I fucked up those frailings. That sucks. I didn't want to show them. Flavor's pretty intense on there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
pretty good flavor. After three hits, it's definitely warm already. Yeah, this could get hot. This um, probably isn't the best with a really hot build. The flavor is very good. I love the drip tip. It vapes. The feeling of the vape is good. The uh, airflow. The flavor is very good. It's definitely warm. The cap is hot. The lip, just a little warm. The flavor is very good. Really good. Uh, the flavor off the pecan sequence is almost like a stainless steel mesh. The question I'm asking myself right now is do I really want to be running N90 coils in all of my Atom IVs that I'm vaping right now? Probably. Yeah, you're right. Well, because my twisted meshes is the one thing I'm not running stainless steel. I mean, and 90 and running stainless steel. What's in here? Oh, the stag. The N90 stags from yesterday. Oh, great. What's up, Josh DePaulo? If you're asking me, I just did a bunch of different aliens tonight. I'm about to make a frame staple and then probably get out of here. So a hundred watt dot squonk. I think them aliens be good on that. Where did I put my rebel? This is gonna, no, it's right there. Aha. Uh -huh. Any kind of regulated, I you like using high gauge wires like um, 27 gauge aliens, even 28 gauge aliens. 30 gauge aliens. Yeah, 30 gauge. 29, four core 29. Four core 30, five core 30. Six core 30 single. Yeah, we more or less just been hanging out and talking. Um, there hasn't been so much teaching any builds or anything. Yeah, we've just kind of been shooting the shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to have a pretty good movie to recommend, but Netflix literally just took them off like two weeks ago. Kingsman, The Secret Service, and then Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Both pretty pretty good movies. Like They've got action. And they've got a little bit of comedy, too. Oh, stainless steel for aliens. It serves me well. What are the what's the likes at people? Tell me what the likes are at. I will make some stainless steel frame staples now. And um and then we'll wrap it up. 28 gauge stainless steel, um, 
three stainless steel as well. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut, shut your mouth. Thirty-eight now. Well, that's a shame. That's a damn shame. Nobody likes my show. Only thirty people like my show. Thirty-nine now. Oh shit! Eleven away. Yeah, I think that thirty-nine was me. How many people are watching is the question. I don't know if there was fifty people in here. I don't see. Um, I can't see. How many people were in here in total? There's my point three stainless steel. Let me see. Oh, we could have talked about something else. Um, so you like asking Alexandria, huh? Seen them live. You did. I was going to ask you that next. I have seen them live, too. Um, they were awesome live. They're a very good show live. They were so good live. I uh, I went, they were there with Upon a Burning Body, Chelsea Grin, and Bless the Fall. Yeah, that's a good show. I like Chelsea Grin. They're, they're pretty good, too. I've seen them at, um, what was that? Um, the... I always wear the shirt, the um, monster, the monster rock something. It's a festival that they do instead of Ozfest in the summer times. Yeah, I was, I was going to, I thought you were going to say Warp Tour, but I'm like, no, that's by Van. Yeah. But, uh, yeah no, I've been to my fair share of concerts. Um, I've been, I've seen Metallica, seen Tool. I never seen Tool. I did see Metallica. I've seen Godsmack. I've seen Godsmack, yeah. Disturbed, Alice in Chains. I never see. I would love to see Alice in Chains. I ha, uh, Chains. I have seen Disturbed a bunch of times. I've seen Slipknot and Pantera quite a bit. Those are like my two favorite. Yeah, Slipknot has is by far the favorite my favorite concert that I've been to. Yeah, they're uh, really good live. Lamb of God was there when I went and seen Slipknot. So was Rob uh, Zombie. Lamb of God's awesome live. I love Lamb of God too. Yeah, and I've I've also what the fuck is my laptop doing? Boot manager. What? What the fuck? Fuck off. Concerts are so fun, though. Um, even, like, bands that... I, I like concerts, even not only metal bands. One of the best concerts I've seen in all, even with seeing all, like, my favorites was fucking um Billy Idol was fucking amazing when I went to go see him. And that oh, yeah. wasn't even too long ago. It was like maybe ten years ago now. But he was still he was old at that time. Yeah, no, I've I've uh, I've also gone and seen some other concerts like uh the ones my girlfriend and I went and seen oh I uh I seen a day to remember last year. Yeah. Uh, they were they were awesome live. Um, I was also when I went and seen Post Malone, uh-huh. and I also seen Childish Gambino. Huh. 
if if you know the actor Donald Glover, that's who Charles Gambino is. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. I haven't heard of him. I know I know uh, the actor. I never knew the band. Yeah, it, it, he's really good. Like he uh, he started off as a rapper, and then he went into more like soul. Okay. Yeah, no, that that was a really awesome concert. I seen Bon Jovi a little bit ago, but Bon Jovi's pretty easy to see over here in Philly, considering he's from Jersey and he goes there so much. Yeah. They um, he usually does like three shows, so most of the time you could like get tickets given away even though like the first show and the second show will be expensive but radio stations give out like tickets to them concerts all the time oh yeah i imagine that's how i went and seen metallica yeah metallica does that quite often yeah 97.7 hits fm here in uh in like I think they're a Toronto station. Like they're in Toronto, 977. Yeah. But yeah, no, that was, that was when, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but like rock music nowadays is kind of taking a decline, like rock, rock. Like it's different. It's very different. Um, there's a lot of good stuff out, but there's also a lot of crappy stuff I don't like. Most of the good stuff is more kind of like a alternative kind of like I like um man, I can't even think of what their names are. Oh, um what is it called? I don't even know. Another name. I'd have to listen to that. Like I like like killers and stuff. Stuff like that. Um, oh, on the topic of a uh, alternative, in air quotes, you know what concert I almost went and seen in the tenth grade with my girlfriend at the time. Hmm. Almost, we almost went and seen Limp Biscuit and Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, uh, so Limp Biscuit, I wish I'd seen them live. I never did. I actually, I have a soft spot for Limp Biscuit, especially like their first two albums, I guess. I, after that, I can't really, even the second album is kind of like, uh, but I like some songs on there. The first album I really like, that was like something I listened to when I was growing up. But um, that was Significant Other, right? The Like the Blue Album. Significant Other was the second album. The first album was called Three Dollar Bill, y'all, and it's actually very good. I really enjoy that album. Almost that whole album is pretty fucking good. Yeah, Three Dollar Bill, y'all. I really like Significant Other, but I also really like Chocolate Starfish. Chocolate Starfish was pretty popular. I didn't enjoy it as much um, as the other. That That's like when I started... Um, kind of not liking them as much yeah but uh no significant other was was like one of those albums that i listened to so much yeah like, if you ask me now i can probably only really name like three songs off significant other but if you ask me back then i was able to tell you every song in order yeah the method man um and together now and uh that was the album with nookie and break stuff. break stuff yeah um oh rearranged was on there yeah that was one of the songs i learned how to play on bass uh I think the, I think the best song I ever learned how to play on bass was Orion by Metallica. Yeah, that's a cool one. But yeah, especially Cliff Burton's bass solo that a lot of people don't actually think is Cliff like is a bass guitar because it sounds so electric. Yeah. 
Yeah, he was pretty awesome bass player. Um, I, he was he was a, he was a very influential bass player. Yeah. If you think back, like if without bands like Metallica and Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, like we wouldn't have a lot of the music that we have nowadays. So I feel like they influenced a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, Nirvana, um, yeah, Nirvana. And then yeah, some of the older ones influenced a lot. And then, and then those bands will tell you that there was other music that's completely different that influenced them, like a lot of blues yeah. and jazz and stuff. Yeah. See, for me, there's no type of music I won't. Okay, there's there's two types of music I won't listen to. Um, I, I don't do country. Yeah, I can't really do it either. And I am not a holly jolly person, so I will not do Christmas music. <laughs> like Christmas music is good in in moderate and just a little bit of it during the Christmas no. season, but just a little bit. There's no. some people. Um, some stations play Christmas like they start it in December and there's like contractors that will put it on all day and um, like sometimes we'll work with like an electrician or something and they're listening to it all day and we grip on them about it all the time because it's just too much you can't listen to it from December 1st all the way to New Year's that's ridiculous Oh, well, in the, in the store, like, we were, we had it, like, the one manager put it on, like, before no, before November was even done, <sighs> and I almost wrung his neck. <laughs> That's a lot for sales to pick up, too, though. <laughs> you hear that Christmas music, and you're like, oh, my God, I got to get the ham. Oh, I got to get the sweet potatoes and stuff. Gotta get the turkeys, gotta get the frozen veggies that no one's gonna touch, but you know, we're gonna pretend that we're eating veggies at Christmas. Yeah. Um, what's another big seller around Christmas? Everyone and their moms is asking for Cool Whip for their pumpkin pie. Yeah. Gravy, of course, stuffing mix. So I actually, um, if you want to come full circle with this, I actually lost my job at the um, at the supermarket because of a concert. Um, it was damn. It was almost exactly um, exactly to the date it's getting towards. Um, however many years ago, but it, I remember it was in February because Valentine's Day was coming up and. Fear Factory was coming with, man, I forget. It was like Fear Factory, Sepultura, and somebody else. It was like a really awesome concert I wanted to see. I never seen Fear Factory, and I really liked them. And uh, I bought tickets like months in advance, and I asked for the day off. And during that time, I got um, put into produce and – there was also a manager there who was actually younger than me. And he asked for, it was on Valentine's Day. He asked for Valentine's Day off because he was a fucking queer about it. And he, um, he got the day off after I asked like a month in advance. And it pissed me off real fucking bad. And I ended up quitting that night because I was like, I bought tickets for this. Fuck that. I said, listen, either give me off or do something. I got to take off. Let me call out sick. And I remember the the owner was like, um, you know, if you leave this shift right now, just don't even come back. I was like, you know what? Fuck you. Oh, man. 
I was I was very very tempted to um to do that same thing because we changed ownership back in August like late August and I remember that me and my girlfriend were going to see Childish Gambino September 10th and I had had the day booked off in like early May when I bought the tickets and I didn't know we were changing ownership then, but like as like the day after the concert, a new guy had me booked in at six a.m. I'm just like, look, you gotta give me a little bit of a leeway here because I'm gonna be out in Toronto for a concert. I've had this day booked off since May. He's like, well, my dad used to always tell me if you're gonna go out being an adult, the next day you gotta you gotta man up when responsibilities come i was like oh fuck sake can i at least come in like not at six like for eight he's like uh yeah sure do what you can sure enough i didn't get home till like 2 a.m that night and i just didn't wind up sleeping i'm just like no fuck this guy i'm going in for 6 a.m but i'm leaving at two because you you wanted me to stay till like four you wanted me to do as if i was doing an eight to four but coming at six and I was like, you know, no, fuck this. I'm leaving at two if I'm coming here for six. I'm going to be tired. Not to mention, you know, it was one of those concerts that everybody in that stadium was smoking weed. So I'm pretty sure I was like secondhand high that night. But, uh, yeah. I worked that full shift. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's sometimes your job can really yeah there there's jobs i've quit for you know what every time i've quit i knew that i've had a job somewhere else every every time i quit there was like maybe one time i didn't but um even with that job there there was a car wash across the street i used to work at and i knew that if i went back i'd be able to get my job back because i left on the terms of i got a new job and then i knew that if I went back. I could get it back. So, but yeah, I've I've quit other jobs for. I guess I never quit anything for a better reason. There was one painter job I did. I was painting, and um, I I lost two construction jobs before because the guy didn't pay me. He didn't pay me on time, and I just don't like that shit. And there's um, a painter job. I would paint every day. I worked with this guy for a year and then he bought a house because he was starting to make money. The house septic tank broke in the basement and he expected me to go down there and clean up after I've been painting for him for a year. I said, nope, <laughs> you ain't got nothing to paint. I'm out. And he basically said, well, if you leave, don't come back. I said, all right, fuck you. Wow, that seems like a running trend with you and uh, bosses. Yeah. And I've I've got a I actually got a job opportunity um, to work at Maple Leaf, but like right now, all like the relationships I've made at this job makes me not want to leave it. Especially because like I'm one of the main guys. Like my department has maybe three other guys who could do the work, but not to my own horn. Not as good as me. So, uh, yeah, but if I leave this job, I'm going into one where hours are much more consistent, aside from the fact that I'd either be doing after, like, I'd be doing afternoon shifts or I'd be doing night shifts, so I'd either be doing 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. or 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. But the money would be a lot better, especially because... This house, I, I'm, I'm a co-sign for. So, it's one of those things I got to think of, like, better for me and my family or better for my current job. Um, Shane, how dare you ask a building question? We're talking about, ooh, we're talking about work. Yeah. 
No, the best way to straight wire it straight and square wire. There's only one way to straighten it, and that's to stretch it. You got to stretch it. You got to take it with the needle noses right off the spool. Take it with the needle noses and pull. That's the only way you could stretch it. You can't twist it because it's square. It will make a, a corkscrew. Wise words from a wise man. Can't twist it. It's square. I want to see if you can do this without unmuting. Nick, what gauge are you fusing with? Probably can't even hear me. What gauge are you fusing with? I'm fusing with 38. Uh, I want to see you try and make uh, the hand motions for like a three and an eight. Uh, yeah. I probably would have just lied and said it was 40. So I can <laughs> one hand. There you go. So this frame staple is just like the Fralian. It is eight pieces of 0.3 stainless, 28 gauge stainless frames, 38 gauge stainless. So that's the only thing different is 38 instead of 36. Um, comes out to like a 0 0.10, 0 0.09, something like that. Maybe I less. These Fralians were that I thought. And frame staples are pretty much just a cheap way to get a Fralian. Um, Fralians vape a little better, but if you want to pay less, you get a frame staple. Yeah. Well, that's not to say they're necessarily easier to make because if you're holding too much tension on the spool or the wire or whatever that you're fusing with, nine times out of ten, you will collapse those cores and it's very hard to recover from with railings. Like if you do enough aliens, you'll be able to recover them fairly quickly. Like, or you already have that tension down. And frailings, in my opinion, are actually easier to make than regular aliens because it's not those three core wires trying to go one on top of the other to mohawk or whatever. Like there's a lot more that can go wrong in a set of aliens than they can with frailings. That's not to say frailings are like uh, you can't fuck them up because you just seen I fuck them up. Like the one piece of wire, I was holding too much tension or going too fast, whatever. The one piece of wire just went completely under, like the one strand of ribbon went completely underneath all the other ones. So I was holding too tight. But in my opinion, fralians are easier to make than regular three core aliens. And I think Nick could also attest to that. Yeah, Fralians are easier to fuse than aliens are, yeah. And uh, Fralians could also be easier to fuse than a frame staple, but frame staples are just quicker to make because you don't have, you have a whole other step you don't have to do. Yeah, but frame staples are definitely not a build you want to rush. No. Nah. Because like I was saying, when you were fusing, because you couldn't exactly hear me. If you're holding too much tension on that spool or whatever that you're fusing with, you will collapse the cores. And it'll be a quick recovery. Yeah, I always have that clip on it. Um, probably not even an inch away from where I'm fusing. And I just slide it down every every inch. Yeah, I remember when I first discovered uh, Squid Dude's YouTube channel, like how he was doing frame staples and staples and all that freehand. I was like, there's no way. That's how I start. I used to think frame staples were easier freehand, 
Um, same thing with fused Claptons, and I used to do all my decors freehand. I used to only do my aliens on a swivel, and then when I got to staggering, um, I used to do them on a swivel too, but um, I did really like to fuse my stagger fuse Claptons freehand too. So I would only use my swivel sometimes. But then I started learning how to set it up on the swivel, and it's just easier. It just is. Easy. Yeah. Those, it comes out cleaner. Yeah. Because you can go quicker to reduce the gaps in the wire without worrying about getting whipped in the face. Mm -hmm. Like those people who build freehand exclusively, hats off to them. And there's some frame staples. What to me? I'm really about to stop um, making frame staples even available, though, because on my list anyway, I'm about to only have like four things on my list, and then everything else is custom because they're just. I'd rather people buy Fralins. They're just a better vape. In your opinion, what are a better vape? Staple stagger fuse Clapton's or Staggertron? It's it's rough because I like Staggertron uh, Staggertons, I guess we found out. Um in regulated, but staple stagger fuse Clapton's probably all in all are better. Yeah. From Mac and yeah. Well, I don't know, because for me, Staggertrons are a complete bitch to make. Like, I think the set I built yesterday has been like my fourth set ever that I've ever been able to make cleanly. Yeah. So you think um, staple stagger fuse Claptons are easier for you to make? Easier for me to make, and I like the vape option better, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I could. I, I would think that staple stagger fuse Claptons are a better vape. But I yeah I think stagger tins are um, easier by I, staple stagger fuse Claptons are always um, always have been hard for me really they've gotten easier of course but they were one of the harder ones for me to get anytime there's two staggers that you got to fuse together that's been hard. Yeah, you know, I, I can't even sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, staple stagger fuse Claptons for me have been easy. They've been easy for me in the last two months. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just disregard the first 14. <laughs> because no matter what I tried, it was just not going. It was until the day I decided, oh, you know, I'm just going to completely fuse this and make it a staple coil inside two pieces of staggered. Um, hold on, Shane. Let me see what you asked. Do you know what it's called? I seen you ask, do you know what it's called? I didn't see your first question. Um, I have a video on Fralians. Just go to the playlists and yep, look up Fralians. Or you just have to go. I guess let me share this. Well, let me see. Hopefully it doesn't mess me up. Before we leave, I will um, show you stuff. Since we're on Zoom, 
Zoom allows me to share my screen. So um, I'll see if you look if you look up Nick's five core alien video, the Fralian one should be the next one that pops up in a playlist. Like yeah. it's always the next one that's re recommended by YouTube. Uh, well, actually that's not true though, because you also had that live where you did Fralians. It was live build, Fralians, my fave or best vape IMO. Yeah. As you can tell, I I watch your videos a lot. <laughs> bored. Yeah, there's where is my I just want to go to my damn channel. It's hard for the person that has the channel to actually go to the channel with the playlists. Yeah, navigate for it. Yeah, I got to like oh there it is, my channel. Okay, so it's going to look different for people that are, but this is basically what it looks like. You go to YouTube, go to my channel, end out the mine 83, right? And at the top, it'll have this home, videos, playlist, community channels, hit the playlists. All right, and then the playlist, these are playlists that I put together. I, I made these videos in these playlists. These are all my like videos. That's really nothing. That's just every video I've ever liked. Coil Wars, Build Off, me on other channels, which I totally stopped putting videos in there. I've been on way more videos than that. Um, <laughs> porn compilation, these are just short videos. That's nothing really. These are the good ones here. Advanced coil tutorials and build tutorial beginner. So in the build tutorial beginner, they're all numbered. I'll probably get a copyright strike for using my own song. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so here's these volume one, volume two. These are all pre recorded videos. All right, and Suka frame staple staggered three core. So these are beginners. Fralian would be in my advanced. So you want to go to if you're looking for Fralian, go to advanced coil tutorials. And That is right here, Fralian coil build. This is it. Best vape in my, yep. So, yep, Cameron was right, right after five core alien is Fralian's. So, in this list, <clears throat> there's Enigma, Micro Clapton, uh, Staple Stagger Fuse Clapton, Soka and Reef Coil, uh, five core alien, alien meth. For Alien, Suka Alien, Staggerton, and three core Stagger Fuse Clapton. So For Alien is here. It's only 46 minutes long. I would watch Alien Math before this because it kind of explains half of it. But these videos are broken down. And then I do the build. <clears throat> it's just better quality, really. It's just better. Crimp it down. I'm gonna do just everything about them is better to watch for learning. <laughs> Whoa. Just better. Let's do this. Turn that sound down. I can zoom up on my fingers. I can zoom up on the drill chuck. Oh, 
Okay, so I wasn't perfectly right with the name of it, but I was pretty damn close. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought you had a live one where you also did Fralian. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely... I definitely do. Um, yeah, I've definitely done Fralians and explained them a couple times live. But if you want to actually learn them, this is where I would go. I remember for the longest time, um, like when Brad would come into chat, he would ask what your favorite what your favorite build was. I was always a running joke. Still is. Hmm. Like, hey Nick, what's your favorite coil to vape? Yeah. It's almost like it's got to the point where nobody even asked me anymore. <laughs> but we would do it because your reaction was always so funny. Mm. Like, oh, God. Like, I remember the one time you, you were, it seemed like you were getting genuinely mad because someone asked that. <laughs> what's up, JFM? Crazy Coils, Redneck Vapor, a bunch of different people came in. Lime Dog, what's up? I'm being real. Now that Lime Dog's in here, I'm actually really jealous that I didn't get on the own Canada team. Like, because I've, like, this is going to actually sound so selfish, but I've actually already started saying it, so I can't take it back now. They've been getting so many sponsors lately. And, like, now it seems like, oh, if I tried to reapply to get on the team again, I'd be like, oh, he just wants to be on for the sponsors. But no, I wanted to join, and you guys had no sponsors. But now they've got sponsors like Kidney Puncher, Trinity Glass, Asmodus, That White Stuff, and a juice sponsor. I forget which one. Lime Dog said he's not on the team anymore. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Shit. All right, everybody. Got to get ready for work tomorrow, but it was fun. I enjoyed this. We uh, actually didn't have a lot of quiet time at all, which usually happens a lot when there's two people building, but I think we did good. Definitely did. It was a, it was a blast having me on. Thank you. Hey, yeah, okay. I'm yeah, right. sorry. Um, sorry I was so freaking late, everybody and Cameron, but... No worries. Yeah, no, that sounded really cocky the way I worded that. I meant to say thank you for having me on. It was a blast being on. <laughs> that was a total Ned thing to say. It was a real honor having me on. <laughs> hey, how do you know I'm not Ned? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's important that if you get on a build team that to contribute. I know that firsthand from which McCall it. It's just, yeah. Because and the only reason is is because there's other people that'll take your spot that can contribute. And that's not a knock at anybody if you if you people get busy. That's it. Um chances are that if you were on the team and you do end up um being more active, that team would probably take you back. Um, we've had that. Um, it happened with Richie Oliver. You know, he just got busy. And he had to step down for a little bit. And then when he was active again, you know, he was ready to be back on the team and back on the team. Um, so that's, yeah. You were injured as well. Yeah, that sucks. But yeah, but that's usually how it works. I mean, if they had you on the team once before, if you leave on good terms, they'd probably have you back again. Now, when it comes to sponsors, it's not really good to um, ask for sponsors. But when it comes to teams, you should probably just, you should probably send a message and just say, 
you know, that you'd be interested. I think that um, that's a totally different thing. Totally different thing. Yeah, and I was, I'm still, I still am interested in joining Ohm Canada, but it just, seems, it just seems like one of those things now that where they might think I'm joining for the wrong reasons because of like the sponsors they have affiliated with them. But you know, it, it also doesn't help that I've been so damn inactive for these last few weeks. Yeah, I'm not saying the the team's going to take anybody right away, but, you know, some teams like, Hey, have limits to how many people they could have on um, because it just gets, you can't let everybody on your team because then it doesn't seem like there's anything special about a team then is there? Yeah. One day, maybe soon. Yeah. It's it's not even like I'm I'm I just really want to be on a team. But like it'd be nice, but I'm not like oh my god I need to be on a team. Because at the end of the day, like you said, I'm not I don't I'm more build to build, not to take photos. Yeah. Like I don't have the most exquisite setup like I'm using a macro lens on the back of my phone yeah there's um I mean teams are awesome everything but they're not absolutely necessary I probably would have been fine without being on a team ever um but it just seemed like a cool thing at the time I was asked and I figured yeah it'd be pretty cool Now the question that I've been asking myself, though, is how are these N90 SSFCs going to do on a triple parallel? How many wraps did you do? Five. Yeah, it'll probably be good. Five on a three. I was going to do four on a 3.5. Yeah, that's good. Dripping some blueberries, something. Fuck yeah. Builds for Lucas is happening on May 11th. <clears throat> okay. Raven, um, We'll have to set something up. I could do a witch McCall it, uh, a raffle or something. So, especially if it's in May. Ow. May, that's far away. May? Sure, not March. Yeah, that, that sounds far. That's the that's five months away, four months away. Is that like the 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 deadline? Hmm. Either way, let me know. March would be fine for me. I mean, May would be a lot easier, but. What's up, HP Coils? Oh. oh, okay. The drawing is in May. Okay, drawings in May. Oh. 
Okay. Well, we'll have to do something. Maybe we'll um, we'll just do something on this channel just to I don't know raise money for prizes then. Would stand for the prizes. All right, cool. Well, we're out of here. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I will be on Tuesday um, trying for seven. As long as I'm working close to home, I'll be on at seven. So we'll do seven to nine or something. I will have another pre recorded video out. Um, and that's it. All right, so there's the there's the GoFundMe for Lucas if you want to donate. Obviously, you want to get proof of your donation because any donation of 10 is five tickets. So get proof of your donation. Get a screenshot. I don't know where you would put it, but um, where would they send the proof, Raven? Thanks for coming out, Shane. Okay, send them to Raven Shadow or Kim Dixon or Paul Casper and you'll get your tickets. I'm pretty sure you could donate from Australia. I mean, whether the prize is, I, I, I would imagine you could uh, get the prizes too if you were to win. Usually you can. Um, yes, you can. There you go. All right, we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Let me get this view on streaming custom live. Get rid of that. We will. Go to here. There you go. And we are done. Everybody have a good week. Peace out.